Hi, I'm Jen from Crickside, and I'm a proud supporter of junior hockey. Jen Gonoff reporting live from the Winkler Arena, where the Winkler Flyers defeated the Winnipeg Blues by a score of 4-2, to and I've got... Uh, Winnipeg Blues captain Jordy Keene here with me. And Jordy, uh, right off the bat, talk to me about this game a little bit. Uh, you know, we worked hard. Just a couple of mental errors turned into goals. So uh, we just got to clean up our D zone a little bit. We were kind of running around a bit. Uh, and then I think we should be fine. Fourth year on this club, you're now named uh, team captain. Uh, tell me how you feel about that. Uh, it's a huge honor. I mean, being from Winnipeg, uh, getting recognized from the players and the coaches, it's uh, special. You are the last remaining Winnipeg Blue from the 13-14 Cup run. Uh, talk to me a little bit about that. Uh, it was a great year. Uh, the guys, we're all, we all still talk all the time. You know, it's winning championships really bonds you together. So it's a great group of guys, veterans, rookies. We are all really tight, close-knit. Uh, yeah, it was a fun year. Do you think your work habit that you displayed out there, your physical presence rubs off on everybody else? Uh, I hope so. I mean, I'm not the biggest guy, but... Not afraid to stick my nose in there. Hopefully, uh, the other guys kind of want to follow that and uh, keep working hard. And yeah, is there a trick or a secret to being a good penalty killer as well as a shot blocker? Uh, just willing to do it, I guess. I mean, some guys don't really have that in them, but uh, you know, willing to put your body on the line. I mean, it's not fun, but someone's got to do it. So why not be me? I guess. You kind of hit it on a little bit already, but uh, you're from Winnipeg, so is there any added pressure for you to play on this Winnipeg Blues team? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, you know, lots of guys go out of town from Winnipeg, but, uh, you know, being drafted by the Blues and obviously having some family roots in the team, it's there's a little bit of pressure, but uh, it's nice. I mean, I only live like five minutes away from the rink, so it's a lot easier. Before today, you had played 15 games, you had eight points. How do you get this team going and start winning more games? You know, uh, it's tough to say. We just got to start putting the puck in the net. I mean, uh, we're not a we're not an overly skilled team. Obviously, we work hard, but uh, you know, you can't teach work ethic. I mean, hopefully, we can teach a little bit of skill and start putting the puck in the net and start winning some close games. So here's a, probably a real no-brainer question, but are you related to former NHL or Mike Keen? Uh, yeah, he's my uncle. Oh, is he really? Yeah. So you got a little bit of history there that you could uh, bring into the dressing room. Yeah, you know, he's, he was a great leader in the NHL. So, you know, if I have anything, uh, any advice, he always gives me advice. If I have any questions, you know, I'm not afraid to ask him. He's always willing to give me advice if I have any problems. Well, Jordy, it didn't work out for you guys here tonight. Uh, so, unfortunately, I got to say I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but uh, all the best for the rest of the season and uh, get back to winning. Let's see you back here. Come back here and get a W. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. Jordy Keene, captain of the Winnipeg Blues, Wayne Conniff reporting on the Manitoba Sports Network.